It's my great pleasure to welcome one of the finest gentlemen in all of Niagara today and one of our all-time favorite guests on The Source. Dr. Dan Patterson was the president of Niagara College from 1995 to 2020. He joins us in studio today. He was presented with the Minister's Lifetime Achievement Award at College Ontario's Higher Education Summit back on November 29th. Dan, thanks for coming in. Congratulations on that honor. Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here, and it was delightful to receive the Minister's Lifetime Achievement. It was a way of putting uh, so many years of work at the college system and to have my peers and others at the Higher Education uh, Council uh, Conference um, allow me the opportunity to speak was really very, very special. Dan, did this award surprise you? Well, yes, because there are 24 colleges and there were only two or three that, uh, p uh, presidents that were going to be nominated. And uh, uh, I got the nod and I, uh, I, I've done a lot of work at the provincial level for the college system, trying to champion the work that they do. And it was uh, nice to get that acknowledgement. Some of the things that you did over your 25 years at Niagara College were actually the benchmark for other colleges to follow. Yes, we often talked about Niagara College having a gold standard. There's a number of things called KPIs, key performance indicators that measure student satisfaction, a number of people that get jobs. Uh, and when ranked against other colleges, often we were number one or in the top tier of the 24 colleges, something we're very, very proud of. The other thing I'm proud of, and I want to be able to say it before, I know um, the interviews go by very quickly, but I've had the opportunity of coming here so many times to uh, spread the message about how important post-secondary is uh, to people's future, and uh, your TV, Kajiko, is given so many people that platform. And I think in today's fast society, I think it's even more important that we celebrate the work of your TV because you're in the community, you're celebrating every sector of our economy. And I, as I look back and reflect on my 25 years, it, I've, I've really had an honor, and I know Daryl Day and others behind the scenes, and Jack Custer, all the people that make you so welcoming here, um, is really a testament to um, the work that you do in creating strong, robust communities. So, Well, well again, Dan, we I learned it all at Niagara sure College. That. As you know, yes. most of us are grads yes. of the broadcasting program at that school. No, that's Some right. of the accomplishments over the years, uh, you know, you've brought so much innovation to the college system, sure. the wine program, beer, cannabis, beekeeping, always creatively thinking. Yes, well, I, I think there are two or three things that hit me about uh, as I reflect on that, uh, that 25 years. One is the, the focus on students and student satisfaction and experiential learning. I think one of the things that really gives colleges a, a, a leading edge on people wanting to choose colleges education is that hands-on practical experience you receive as well as the classroom ex experience. And the goal is ultimately find employment. And uh, when that comes together, it really, really is terrific. Uh, I had the opportunity in my 25 years to uh, deal with 70,000 students graduating in 171 convocations. So I saw firsthand the pride of accomplishment, uh, the hopes, the promises that I saw in students, uh, and the, uh, the messages that I was able to convey. I had a tremendous platform, and I felt very, very grateful. The other is that entrepreneurial spirit. As you mentioned, Canada's first teaching winery, the brewery, the distillery, the first cannabis uh, program. Uh, these are innovative, leading-edge programs that show workplace right on campus, uh, money that's um, uh, you know, commercialization of those products, money going back to support the program. These are all uh, really success stories, and that sparked innovation in the other, whether it's hospitality and tourism, our health sciences, business school. So I think Niagara College was known as nimble, reflexible and very very entrepreneurial and I think the third element I would say about uh, reflecting is our role in the community uh, whether it's here in Kajiko or whether it's a student getting their internship at a small and medium-sized company 
being out there in the community uh, is part of our economic development mission. And I think so that's important. really, really important. So, so a lot of good things have happened and I, I'm just, uh, I've been very pleased for being able to lead Niagara College for those uh, 25 years. I think our viewers want to know what you're up to today. So I know okay. that you are on the board at Niagara University just across the yes. border. Yes, yes, I'm uh, being kept very busy. I, I, I'm on the board of trustees for Niagara University. They're doing some very exciting things. I'm very impressed with the leadership at NU. Uh, the other uh, uh, work that I'm doing on the board is chair of the Ontario Centre of Innovation. That's an, Where is that based? That's based in Toronto. It's an agency of uh, the provincial government, and its job is to stimulate innovation in Ontario, working with small and medium-sized enterprises, colleges, and universities to try to get more innovation happening in Ontario because, for instance, the auto sector. Um, five, ten years from now, we won't recognize it. The autonomous vehicles, electric, electrification, we need to get ahead of that curve. And this agency helps work with small and medium-sized companies, tech companies, who are developing new products and new services so we can compete uh, uh, in a very globally competitive environment. And that, so, that trickles down. It trickles yes, down into the colleges, the totally. universities, and all the way down to high school level, yeah, I would think. So, as well. so it's a perfect fit for me. I've just been really, really pleased. I, I've done some mentoring of students. I'm on our national college system for mentoring uh, uh, college presidents. Uh, not the, the current president of Niagara College, but people across the country. I've had an opportunity to to do that, and so that's been that's been very very exciting. I was on a PhD uh, uh, committee for a, a candidate, uh, so uh, and I did some work uh, with Ridley College, volunteering on their strategic plan. You're busier now than so you were at yes, Niagara. <laughs> but you know, I love work. I love being able to give back, and and I find it very very rewarding that the years that I've had at Niagara College were so instructive and I learned so much from the, the staff and students that, that uh, allowed me the opportunity to lead, but um, I got, got as much out of it as I, I put in. Dan, it's a pleasure to catch up with you today. Okay. Thanks so much for coming okay. into the studio. It's so great to see okay. you in person. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And the only thing, I have to conclude by saying, I know Sandra was looking down at you November 29th yes. and smiling broadly yes. while you were accepting No, totally. In fact, when I accepted the Lifetime Achievement Award, I was able to say that in my 25-year journey, Sandra was by my step every way of that uh, um, leading the college and uh, and uh, I wouldn't have been uh, received that award if it wasn't for my wife Sandra. We were quite a um, um, you know a team together and so I miss her dearly uh, but I know she wants me to move on and do a lot of exciting things that I can give up back to a place like Niagara that is so very very special. And we're fortunate to have you. Okay. Thanks well, thank for coming you. in today. Thank you.